Hello boys and girls, Raj here, back with a special video. So today is kind of a, a milestone for me. Uh, Udemy just approved uh, my second course. Uh, I have been working on this course for last seven months. Uh, so I know I, I, it took a long time, uh, but life has been busy. Uh, also, I got a lot of good feedback uh, from my students from the first course, and I incorporated all that into my second course. So this course is about uh, CloudFormation, uh, CDK, how do you run your CloudFormation uh, templates using DevOps tools, and also an uh, interview guide. So all these are super critical uh, knowledge to have uh, if you want to get into cloud or if you're already in the cloud. Uh, so check out if you are interested in learning this. Uh, however, if you don't want to take my course, that's, that's cool too. I still love you guys and girls. Uh, thanks for checking my uh, YouTube videos out. Uh, if you do enroll in my course, uh, thank you for supporting me. Uh, so this is kind of a weird video because generally I do videos on like uh, technical stuff. Um, but this is like a, a quick uh, self-promotion video, I guess. So I'm going to go over quickly what topics are covered in my course. And also I'm going to give you guys and girls a coupon code uh, link in the description uh, so that you guys and girls can buy for a very, very discounted price. All right, with that being said, uh, let's check it out. This course is divided into uh, four main areas. Uh, the first one is uh, CloudFormation. Uh, the next one is uh, DevOps tools, especially focusing around how to run your templates using different DevOps tools. Uh, third one is CDK or Cloud Development Kit. And the last but not the least is uh, the interview guide. So under CloudFormation, uh, this is divided into two chapters. Uh, one is basic cloud formation and next is advanced cloud formation. Uh, so under basic cloud formation, uh, we're going to start with the infrastructure as code, uh, what is it, why it's needed, and then what is cloud formation. We're going to look at the cost of cloud formation, uh, JSON versus YAML. Then we're going to learn about uh, cloud formation concepts like input parameters, intrinsic functions, uh, pseudo parameters, mappings, conditions, resources, outputs, CloudFormation Designer, and then running CloudFormation from CLI. Uh, so one must-watch lecture in this section is how to code any CloudFormation. I don't believe in just giving you just the templates and going over it because that's quite easy, right? Uh, I wanted to show how I code CloudFormation in my professional life. So we are going to take a use case and we are going to code it together side by side uh, from scratch. I'm going to show you guys and girls how I pick a best template, then how I navigate the reference guide, how do I search stuff, what do I search for, and then how what sections I copy, paste, and put it in my CloudFormation, and finally how do I create the finished uh, template. And then uh, we have advanced CloudFormation. Uh, so we're going to cover a lot of advanced stuff. Uh, in this uh, chapter. I'm not going to read through all this because there is a lot. And we are also going to have a, a section. I, I separated it out in a separate chapter uh, on SAM or serverless application model. Uh, so this is an extension of CloudFormation uh, and you can use SAM to create serverless uh, resources uh, much easier. Okay, so the next uh, section is uh, DevOps tools. Uh, so in this section, we're going to start with a DevOps quick primer uh, and then why do we need to automate CloudFormation and then we are going to start with uh, Jenkins. We're going to install Jenkins, uh, run CloudFormation from Jenkins. Uh, then we are going to take a look at Terraform and how to run Terraform templates. And finally, uh, we're going to take a look at Code Pipeline. Uh, what, what is Code Pipeline? Why is it good? Uh, how to run CloudFormations with Code Pipeline in uh, multiple ways. And then we are going to end with uh, some comparisons between all these tools, CloudFormation, Terraform, Code Pipeline, Jenkins, uh, so that you can understand the pros and cons of all these tools. Uh, so one must-watch lecture or must-watch area is AWS Code Pipeline. So AWS Code Pipeline is the native DevOps tools from AWS. Uh, so this is relatively new compared to uh, Jenkins and Terraform. Uh, but this is gaining a lot of popularity and I feel like in future uh, the adoption of code pipeline will be uh, huge. So if you guys and girls understand the concepts of code pipeline, uh, you will be ahead in the game. So next section is a CDK or Cloud Development Kit. 
So I'm going to cover both CDK with TypeScript and uh, CDK with Python. So we're going to start with uh, CDK, what is it, why it's needed, the differences of CDK with CloudFormation, and then we're going to jump into the TypeScript section uh, and then uh, the Python section. And we're going to spin up uh, EC2, S3, Lambda, API Gateway, SNS, SQS uh, using CDK. And don't worry, uh, you don't need to know uh, coding uh, to use CDK. Uh, I will show you as part of the initial setup uh, how to generate sample codes uh, that comes with some boilerplate coding. And then I'm going to show you how to look up reference guide and how to copy paste which section and stuff. Uh, so the must watch lecture for this section is a CDK cheat sheet for coding any CDK. Uh, so I personally follow uh, some specific steps uh, using which I can code CDK for any AWS infrastructure. Uh, so I'm sharing with that with you guys and girls so that you guys and girls can achieve the same. So the last section is the interview guide. And again, to reiterate, uh, I conduct a lot of interviews and uh, I am actually a real world architect. Uh, so whatever I'm gonna share is from my actual experiences. Uh, so this interview guide is divided into two areas. Uh, one is the CloudFormation CDK interview guide, uh, where we go over the questions on uh, CloudFormation and CDK and how to answer them and stuff. But I want to make you guys and girls successful in your uh, cloud interview in general. So I'm going to share some uh, other tips and tricks beyond just CloudFormation CDK question answers. Uh, so I'm going to go over like general cloud interview tips, uh, how to do whiteboarding, uh, and then the must watch is how I switched my career to AWS. Uh, so I used to work in mainframe and then I'm going to share the six steps I followed uh, to switch my career to AWS cloud. Okay, so we have a lot uh, in our plate. All right, guys and girls. Uh, so that's that's my uh, new course. Again, if you don't uh, want to take it, that's cool. Uh, thanks for watching my video, subscribing to my channel. And I wish you guys and girls all the best. Uh, all right, I'll see you guys and girls in the next lecture. Bye.